Hello and welcome. In this video, I want to teach you a VBA code that will allow you to prevent certain users from either closing the file or saving the file or for that matter printing the file. And this VBA code works pretty well with other events that have cancel as a parameter in them. So for that, we can head over to the developer tab and to the visual basic and then we can start writing our code. And this code is going to sit in the, this workbook so we can select it and from the drop down we need to select the workbook and from the events we need to select before print now we can delete our workbook open event and now we can start writing our vba code so first of all we need to declare certain variables so i am going to say dim array as variant nme as string so array is going to store multiple values and NME is going to store the name of the user that is currently using this workbook. So in the, so I'm going to store certain values in the array as equal to array Antrich um, Rohan and we can take another name Trump. So I can close the array. Now we need to specify the name of the user using this system. So for that I will say NME is equal to Environ user name. Now we can write our VBA code that will actually cancel out the event. So for that we are going to say if you bound filter array comma NME include as boolean is equal to true and then we need to compare it as a text compare is greater than or equal to is greater than or equal to zero then so now we can close our end if statement and within this if statement we need to write message box you are not allowed to print this file and then we can say cancel equals to true. Now, since my username is Antriksh, you will see that I will not be allowed to print this file. So if we can just head over to the Excel and see if this code is working or not. If I click on print option and then print, you can see I am being prompted with a message box which says you are not allowed to print this file. So I think the code is working fine. And let's see if this code actually works with other events as well. So I can select before save and before close. So I will just create a copy of this, this code in these other events as well. And I can just edit the message box. So to say you are not allowed to close this file. You are not allowed to save this file. So we can just head over to the Excel and if I just try to save this file, you will see that I am being prompted with a message that you are not allowed to save this file. And if I just try to click close this file, then also a message box will pop up. So as I said, you are not allowed to close this file. So I think the code is working fine. And now I will show you other events where this code can actually work. Here are some example of other events with which you can use that code. I hope you have really enjoyed this video. Thank you and have a great day.